microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're at Rock on the Range, and, I, and she got her energy drink going. Monster! <laughs> number two, I'm like, oh my god, I'm really feeling it. I bet you are. Holy well, shit! Well, my heart would be in palpitations. Yeah. Well, I I figured I have to talk a lot around here. Yes, so, you do. Uh, I'm gonna need some energy for that. Uh, yeah, probably. I got a little too much energy though right now. You're in here for like two hours, ain't it? Something? Dude, like they just keep me hanging out. I think that yeah. At first yeah, we were like, where will you go on? we literally had seven, seven set up in the beginning, and I think I've talked to at least twenty. Yeah, tell me something. When? Okay, wait. Where are you? Well, we're doing acoustic. Uh, it's oh, not yeah, on there yeah. at five o'clock. Yeah, it's oh, not okay, on there. It's not on there. Um, they, uh, the DWP just kind of squeezed us in. Like, <laughs> like they squeezed us in on the bill, and then uh, yeah, it worked out. We got two well, acoustic sets. Well, that's cool as hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys. And we opened the show last night. We played a little pre-show, free show Oh, did you really? Yeah, it was actually really fun. A couple hundred people came out, and um, oh, we threw down. I didn't even know that. I know it was a last minute, like booked really last minute. Because I got here. Let's see, it's a five-hour drive for me. Plus the time change because I'm like by Chicago. Ooh, five hours. Ooh, so, yeah. big deal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we came from Nashville. Oh, that wow. was like eight hours. Yeah, that's a draw. I just took a melatonin and passed out. <laughs> I, it didn't seem like any time went by at all. But it was like, hey, we're here, yay. Yeah, <laughs> all right, let's do this. Look at it's Carla from the Butcher Babies. Yeah. Hi. Okay. She's awesome. Yeah, I love her. To I, you know, I, I saw them last week too at uh, Northern Invasion. Yeah, I love them so much. Fucking go! I, I know. You know why I love them so much is because they genuinely. Yeah. Oh, love you know what? I love. Oh, I love Mixie from oh. Super. We're on TV. You <laughs> are on TV. Oh my god! Come on, TV. Mom. Come on, TV. Mom. Come on, be on TV, mom. I'm gonna let you finish your interview, but first, yeah, two <laughs> that was Kanye West. Bye. That was all. Yeah, no, you're you're much better looking than Kanye West. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh She's my cool. God, so much love for them. You know what? You know what I love because they genuinely love what they do. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is they they are still in awe of holy shit, we're yeah, fucking here. Yeah, yeah. And I love that about. I them. mean, I, we've known them since the very beginning. I went to like one of their first shows, really? and uh, Heidi, I remember she threw a bloody Barbie doll at me. I was all all the way in the back. It was like <laughs> at the Cat Club in Hollywood, and uh, it was a really tiny venue. And I remember asking to be in the band at that point. Like Did I actually really? was like. I will play keyboards for you. I'll do whatever. I'll wear that. I don't care. Uh, and, you know, they didn't ask me to be in the band. Oh. But, you know, we've all, like, kind of seen each other grow. And it's just really pretty. Really, really cool. I've seen, like, they're just, it's really cool to watch. It is. They, they, I, I, I've seen them. I saw them in, at Aftershock in Sacramento. Uh, like four years ago, five years ago, and I just fell in love with the. Yeah. I, I they they weren't doing interviews. The guys were, so I, I got the guys, and they're fucking hilarious. Oh yeah! Oh, oh my god, god, those guys. They are so funny. Yeah. You know, even back then, they we were good. Chris Warner. Oh, oh my god. god. God, they were, they were awesome, but oh, and the girls, girl. but the girls did stop and do a photo op with me, which I appreciated. Yeah. But they, but they love what they do, and I love you know because mm -hmm. like. There's some people that come through here and they're like, yeah, whatever. Like, whatever. Yeah. You know. No, they really, really do. Like, yeah. love, they know they're living the dream and they really appreciate it. Yeah. And I think that's one thing that, like, I look for that inspires me is that I'm inspired by other artists that, like, you can see the passion and you can see yes. the dedication when they perform. Like, they throw 120 million percent into their live yes. show. And, uh, like, I, I remember seeing them from the Cat Club and then seeing them, like... I think we saw him on tour with Danzig in New York when we had a day off on our tour. And just I remember just being like, wow, so proud of those girls. Yeah. You know? And it's a really cool feeling. I, there's a bunch of people around here. There's Sick Puppies. We just got off tour with them. Oh, did you really? Yeah, oh, we were just cool. on tour with them in Red Sun Rising. Uh, we just finished the tour. Um, now we go out with Lacuna Coil, which oh. is also another band. Actually, Butcher Babies, I think, are going on with them at the first half of the tour then we take the second half of the tour and I was like well I want to be with the Mr. Babies too <laughs> so uh, one day I'm going to make that happen oh yeah um, and then we go out with Pop Evil and we're pretty much not going home this year I was just saying you guys are yeah. non-stop this year no well we got a record coming out June 17th that's very important for all you uh, it's called Never Alone it's with Another Century um, and you can get pre-orders and stuff for it now if you want um, are there are pre-orders yeah you can go on Facebook and there's like links to pledge music and you can get shirts and all that cool stuff it's actually cheaper to buy the merch on the pledge 
uh, than it is to buy it at our shows. So <laughs> buy stuff online. Buy stuff because that's how they get their tour money. Mainly buy the record because it, it's yes. you know there's a message there that I want people to hear. In the record, in the mm-hmm. album. Yeah, itself. I mean, never alone itself is Stitch Up Hard is a story of picking yourself back up and putting yourself together. And um, never alone is a very hopeful record. Like before we started working with this, I was in a very dark place, and um, we started on the record, and it just. I started to realize that there was a light at the end of the tunnel and uh, it came out in the lyrics and I just kind of want people to know that they're not alone and they, that there is other people feel like down and out sometimes mm. and there's always hope like there's always something that will be at the next you just got to wait for it you just got to hold on and let the storm pass and there's always a rainbow right you know yeah and that's cool that that's really cool it came out in your album and yeah and it didn't got, mean to it wasn't anything intended it just kind of happened did you write all the all the songs on it is that how it came? Yeah. you wrote them all yeah everything was written i mean i have archives of songs that i've written like in the past but everything we did on this record was written right there in the studio um with me Merritt, and the producer and then decker would come in with help with like some drum beats and stuff but uh but mainly we just like started from scratch and just let it whatever comes out come out yeah yeah and this and this came out with a message yeah. to everybody that's yeah. awesome so, and then on you know to myself as well i have to you know remember that it's not the end of the world sometimes and that it'll get better right and uh we just got photobombed by somebody i don't know who they are that's all right <laughs> it, it's it's you know what it i like doing videos because that shit happens and it's shit fun. happens. So, I, mean, I can say shit. You yeah, can say, you can shit, say anything shit, you want. Shit. We're, shit, we're, shit. we're internet radio. You can say any fucking shit, thing shit, you shit, want. Fuck, 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 fuck. I had so, to get that out. So where are you going after this? What's going on with you? I mean, tell if you could tell everybody like where you're going to be or a, a, like kind of like a tour schedule. Yeah. Or just, you can go to stitchedupheart.org and see all the tour dates, all the pre-order, the, pre-orders. Uh, the music, the where we're going to be. I mean, we're mainly going to do a U.S. thing this, this okay. year. Um, probably plans for a different country next year. Uh, we did a little bit of Canada last year, but that's, okay. yeah, and Mexico this year, yeah. So that's the most I've done is Mexico and Canada. <laughs> and I'm like, one day I want to get over to Europe, you know, but um, just... Yeah, go look us up online and find all of our info out. Stitch up heart. That's right. Find all their stuff. Buy their new album. Buy it, buy it. June 15th? June 17th. June 17th. Yeah, but you can get it before that and pre-order it. Pre-order it. Yeah. And listen to her message. Because, <laughs> well, it, you know what, though? Because it might touch somebody. Somebody might buy it and, and want to hear yeah, you know, I there's mean, actually um, there's some songs that we stopped playing live. Like uh, now that you're gone is about somebody passing away and not being there anymore. And um, I stopped playing it live because it, I almost cry every time oh. we perform it. <laughs> and then after the show, somebody did cry in the audience, and then they tell me they cried and they tell me their sad story, and then I start crying. Aww. So I, can, I had to stop singing that song because it really made me like <laughs> sad, and I don't want people crying at a rock show. So um, I mean, maybe we'll bring it back later when we want everybody to cry. See, now, I, I was going to say, this is my mom, when she passed away, she got that, she got that butterfly tattoo four months before she died, because she never had a tattoo, and she was like, fuck it, I'm going to die, what the hell? That's, what she, that's how she said it, fuck it, I'm yeah. going to die. So we went there, we went to the place where I yeah. go get mine, and it was, oh, she sat back, you know, she has her oxygen on, and she sat back, and Justin started, and she goes, is that it? Justin said yes that bad. She goes, oh, fuck, go do it. I don't give a shit. Don't fucking hurt. Oh, my God. Your she mom was, sounds like a badass. Oh, my God. She was an ornery Polak. <laughs> oh, my God. She was, she would, you know, she always told it like it. I have some Austrian Polak. Do you? Uh, yeah, like Transylvania is what my dad says. That oh, really? Yeah, that area um, in me as well. But, wow. yeah, your mom sounds like a badass. Oh, she was bad as hell. Growing up, it was, you know, I had a stepdad at 13. But um, she taught me how to pitch. She taught me how to play baseball. She, I played softball. Did you? Dude. Awesome. And I played, I, I pitched a little like underhand. Yeah. And I, uh, I, second I base, pit- third base, shortstop. I, I was pitcher, third, and left field, sometimes center. Mm-hmm. Um, but she taught me everything. And but and every time I got hurt, she'd be like, get the fuck up. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And she would, she would, she always said, if there's no blood or bones, you're not. And I was just telling uh, another radio station, I stubbed my little toe on a Friday. Saturday, I bowled, played baseball screamed because it hurt so bad. My dad called me and went to the doctor. My foot was shattered. But my mom said, what was that? I didn't see. Sick puppies. Oh, is that sick puppies? Yeah, we just got off to our oh. Um, oh my god, it's sick puppies! Sick puppies! Oh my god! <laughs> 
Well, yeah, we to get trapped, you know. <laughs> but um, but yeah, yeah, I'm wrapping up. Uh, but yeah, she uh, she said I didn't see no bones sticking out, so I didn't think it was broke. But my foot was shattered. She was crazy. She didn't. And she was very forward. Yeah. Very forward. And well, and, she made a good man. Oh well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I just became a grandfather too. Woo! Congratulations. I'm so I'm too young for that. Yeah. Well, I mean, life happens. I know, but he's so cute. <laughs> and then they named him Max Maxim, Maximus. So I call him Maximus Prime. He's my little transformer. Little transformer. <laughs> he will transform into a man. That, exactly. They're exactly. That's so, awesome. all right, we're getting the wrap up. I gotta let you go. Uh, thank you so thanks much. Thanks for taking the time with me. Oh, thank you for taking time. And don't forget, go to what's the website? Go to Facebook or stitchedupheart.org. You can pre-order our new record, Never Alone. There you go. Go over there, get her stuff. We'll be back here, at Rock on the Range on Asgard Radio.